We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Nick Pavetta, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it just goes to show you how tough it is to pitch in today's game. This guy has a career ERA over five. At times he can be good, and at times he can be really, really bad. It'll be interesting to see which guy shows up in this one here today. In now, Ronald Acuna. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Here's the first pitch to him. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll get there as he kicks off the ball game with a triple. Anytime the ball is hit that hard to deep center, you know it's going to be a tough play. The center fielder gives chase, but it ends up coming off the wall. And by that time, you knew it was going to be a triple. So up steps Ozzy Albies. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Now the relay home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple and then the sack fly to bring home a run. First delivery to him on the way lifted down the line and left and that will end up a foul ball time to be aggressive with these hitters now after that sack fly now it's time to try to get out of the center with only one run scored strike two is the fastball is let go this is pulled into right but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out and now a moment to show you the lineup for Atlanta in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, I'm excited to get a chance to see that left-handed hitter, Freddie Freeman. This guy won the National League Silver Slugger last year. You think about all the first basemen in the league that can swing the bat well and hit home runs, but he was at the top of the heap. I love watching him swing. Behind 0-2 now. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. Solo shot to right center, and it's given Atlanta a 2 to nothing lead. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly, just like that, they take the lead. At the plate now, Austin Riley. The third as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits with one of them being the home run. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Braves two and the Phillies nothing. Mike Soroka gets the ball for Atlanta in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. So digging in now, Gene Segura. He'll lead things off here in the bottom go. half of the first. The now the pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. A ball and a strike to the Phillies leadoff man. High and deep down the left field line. 
And that will end up a foul ball. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Grounded down the third baseline. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the third baseman right there, selling out to try and save extra bases for the pitcher, but it got through. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that well, entire at bat. And what happens? Five. Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Bryce Harper comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Now a foul tip that's held onto at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. It's the Braves two, and the Phillies nothing. At the plate, Tyler Flowers. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The 1-0. Oh, that's off the plate. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made, and fast. Two balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the two two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind that two and zero to start the at bat. Right That's a pretty bad place Enter. to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. In there, 0 and 1. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at 1. And a knuckle curve missed that time, 2 and 1. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. He'll get it into second, and the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two out double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Standing in now, Mike Soroka. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. 1-2 oh, and two now to the Braves pitcher. Oh, almost caught looking to end the inning, but it's called ball 2-2. Two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes, the hardest thing to do, looking at a fastball to end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. 
The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and now it'll be the catcher, JT Real Muto. First pitch on its way. Real Muto. A bouncer up the middle. And a good throw gets him one gun. All right, the Atlanta Braves attack you on defense this way. Hey, let's focus on Freddie Freeman, first baseman for the Atlanta Braves. He plays one of the most reliable first basemen in the game, makes the routine play. Not only that, he can pick and grin, saving his infielders some serious errors. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Phillies down in order. They trail things here 2 to nothing. Top of the third set to get underway. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Ronald Acuna. First offering on its way. Drives it out to deep right center field. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he'll get there as he kicks off the third with a leadoff triple. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great, and he's showing he knows how to motor. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit, and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. The first base Boy, talk about striking on back-to-back -back pitches. Runner, runner, runner. A triple, then followed by a single. The throw is low, and he can't make the pick. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. McCutcheon going back. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. A two-run blast off the bat of Freddie Freeman. And the Braves have now opened up a 5-0 lead. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. Here's Marcelo Zuna. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Ozuna, once a member of the Cardinals organization, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. A ball and two strikes now. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Ranger Suarez is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. In now, Austin Riley. As the, the first bat. pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 
swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Hey, this guy's so aggressive, I don't think this pitch is anywhere near the zone. Skied into very shallow right. Harper has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now back. Catch. Standing in, Tyler, Tyler Flowers. Wow. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, right fielder. Here's Ender Inciarte. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. One ball, one strike to count. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Harper. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Braves six, and the Phillies nothing. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Adam Hazley. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Nope. Now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Batting nut. Here's the first pitch to him. Number 55. Ranger Suarez is next as he finds himself behind 0 1. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So the lineup car turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. Way to break up the rhythm. That was almost eight in a row. This guy was starting to get his bearings about him on the mound. Had to break it up. Freeman camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. First pitch of the at-bat. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Suarez, the runner at first with two gone. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ozuna is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for Philadelphia. They still find themselves down six zip. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters, from their approach to their swings to the results. It's all working. One key indicator of that, six extra base hits to this point in the game. Okay, thank you, Heidi. So is day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. And clearly he was off his game this evening. Hey, this certainly wasn't the outing he was looking for when he left the bullpen while warming up. Too many pitches over the heart of the plate. Four home runs. That's right. Four home runs he allowed in this one. Popped up. Kingery has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. The better two. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. Didn't waste any time, like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Maddie. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mat. Ouch, that got him. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. So a good job for him there to bounce back after giving up four last time around. 
To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Braves six and the Phillies nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Coming forward the veteran outfielder Bryce Harper. First pitch of the at bat. Harper. Blind to shortstop and there's one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. And a ball 1-0. and No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Line toward right center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. And a terrific effort out there as he's able to chase that a long way for the second out. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. Fouled off. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Behind 0-2 now. Down 0-2, maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. To two balls and two strikes now. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0-2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2-2. And he's able to find the knock out there. Scott Kingery is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. In there, strike two. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Here's the first baseman Freddie Freeman and to start out the inning it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there Dan. They have Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that but it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Hit sharply on the ground. Hoskins grabs it cleanly and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Kingery's there. Throw gets him two down. Now that the third game. ready once again, Austin Riley. He flew out in his last at bat, and he fouls this one off. Chopper down the third baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. One ball, two strikes, count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss for strike three. Hold the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. They lead it six zip. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He said that although he's not against swinging at the first pitch, today they're doing so way too often and at well-executed pitches. As a result, six of their at-bats have resulted in outs on just the first pitch. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Behind 0-2 now. 
And it's fouled away. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. One Your away. Nick Williams will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five, Nick Williams. Oh, what a dive. He's up with it. The throw in time. Great reactions on that one, and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother it. Still had to get up and make the throw, and of course, he did that too. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura, he's one for two in the ball game, And a sinker misses here. No, a called strike. I take that back. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Segura behind on a 1 and 2 count. Two out, nobody on. Hit down the line at first. This is flared out towards second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They still find themselves down six zip. Austin Davis gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0 1 pitch. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Harper. He's there and records the first down. Now batting. Right field. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. He's popped up in his first plate appearance and flied out last time around. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. 1-0. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. One and one. one, and one. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. Dansby Swanson. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Harper will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. And Dan, he and his fellow top-of-the-order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far on this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Here comes the first pitch. A little roller toward the hole. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. It was a single for him in his last at bat. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Phillies down in order. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Mike Soroka. No hits to this point. He's set and the pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. 
Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. Harper is in foul territory now as he hustles over to put it away. Stepping in, Ozzie Albies. He's one for two in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Hazley makes the catch, and now they might be able to double them off at first. On to first, and they get the double play. One hits all they get. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Braves six, and the Phillies nothing. So striding in, JT Real Muto. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Line to the right side. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So that's how they'll start out now their back. half of the seventh Don't inning. Stop. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. Gregorius. No balls in one strike. Eight. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And another foul ball. A runner at second. Nobody out. Fouled away. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The first, first pitch of the at bat. Scott Kingery comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Oh. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. And he punches out another one. Make it 9 for the ball game. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have the that bat. late action that the just starts at the last minute. Adam. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Ready on 0 and 2. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Philly strand one. They still find themselves down six zip. set for the start of the inning and stepping in the long ball threat Freddie Freeman ready with the first pitch here it comes a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap going back is the center fielder on the warning track he makes the catch Marcelo Zuna will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game there were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. And the throw will get him at first as he is robbed on a magnificent play there. Oh man, once it got past the pitcher, I figured it was a base hit, but then the shortstop comes out of nowhere to make the diving stop. That was incredible. Now at the plate, Austin Riley. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch on its way. Kingery's there. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Braves six, and the Phillies nothing. Roman Quinn will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch it to lead off the home half of the eighth. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. Grounder down the line at third. 
And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. That was some great situational hitting there after no surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Behind 0-2 now. Fouled off. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit out towards second. And that's the first out. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. A man at third with one away. On the ground to the left side. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Hey, a little better late than never, D-Row here. That base hit here in the eighth inning. They're still behind in this one, but at least they're not getting shut out. Yeah, you're going to see this offensive team fight to the bitter end. As long as their out's out there, they're going to grind it out and see if they can get back in this one. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Down the left field line and deep. And they can't run it down. 0-1 oh, the count to Bryce Harper. Ball at this side. Runner at first here, one man out. That's Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. Well, late in a game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, gotta believe that pitch is coming again right here. The 0 2 delivery. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. It's a run on two hits, one left. We've played eight full. It's the Braves six and the Phillies one. Adam Morgan enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Off for it last. All the set to start the ninth in this one and next to hit wow. is the catcher Tyler Flowers high in the air out to center field. Hazley is there one quick out to start inning number nine. Now batter. The At the plate, Ender Inciarte. The head-to-head -head with Adam Morgan. He has an even 10 hits in 21 at-bats. He pulls this one into right. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it. But he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's oh, cut on and missed 0 and 1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the hole. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Braves are set down one, two, three. They hold on to their six to one lead. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, JT Realmuto. Josh Tomlin, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Now picking for Atlanta. Into the corner and slicing foul. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. At the ball. 
Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. And he fouls this one off. Another 1 2 delivery. That's a ball. Well, this is just one of those grinder at bats right here. He worked the count even to two and two, and he's made him throw a lot of pitches. And he takes something off here as this is a lazy fly ball out to center field. The Cunha is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for one away. The Braves are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. He was great all night long. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now. Nothing and two. The ball and two strikes to Didi Gregorius. Hit out towards second. Albies scoops it up. On to first, and now the Phillies are down to their final out. The third baseman, number four. First pitch on its way. Gingery. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Basic pitching right there. 0 2 fastball up and out of the swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. 6-1 to one the final. Atlanta jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Mike Soroka pitches well enough to get the W. Nick Pavetta struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ballgame tonight. For the victorious Atlanta Braves, six runs, nine hits. No error. They left three men on base. For Philadelphia, one run, seven hits. No error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.